Ben Caution uh, from New South Wales and uh, I've been doing comedy for uh, seven years which I think is I think usually they like people to be like doing comedy for less than that in comedy zone so let's say three like I was standing next to a pretty lady once at a bus stop and she dropped her book and look out Mr. Foot's on the move, yeah. Mr. Size 6, he's having a go. But you wouldn't believe this, I actually caught this 400 page hardback book on my foot. I balanced it there for a second, I flicked it up, I did a 360, I caught it in one motion, I handed it back to her. I said, I think you dropped something. Then later she opened it up, actually wrote my number on the bookmark. Pretty good. I do a slightly higher voice on stage. I do a funny voice, a little bit, not like this, a little bit higher. And uh, sometimes I'll tell the truth, but then other times I'll just make stuff up. I'll say my grandma's in the hospital because she fell off a mechanical bull and stuff like that. But it's pretty close, pretty close stuff. Obviously none of that happened, guys, you got me. If you want to know what actually happened, uh, my foot got there a little bit late and uh, ended up kicking her book into a muddy gutter. <laughs> really smashed it as well. Didn't know what to do, just pretended I was a bad boy. So <laughs> like, that's what you get for reading. <laughs> um, well, I'm a tennis coach. Um, I'm a tennis coach. I, uh, I recently, um, <laughs> I broke the land speed record. So people might not know that about me. I'm the fastest living creature. So that's pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but there's this one kid, he can't quite say bombs and torpedoes. He calls it bombs and pedos. <laughs> this is actually true. And this is the end of the lesson when all the parents are coming to pick up their kids. For some reason, all the other kids started teasing this one kid. They started chanting, pedo man, pedo man, pedo man. I know, not a good look for the tennis coach with a handlebar moustache. I didn't want to go on the defensive. I feel like that makes me look even more guilty. So I just went on the offensive, started teasing the kid as well. I was like, yeah, pedo man, this kid over here. Come on, kids, give me a P, give me an A. Kid was pretty upset about it, understandably. And uh, his mum came up to me after the lesson. She was like, why was everyone calling my son pedo man? I was like, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, your son's a pedophile. So it's... Uh... Actually, I, I know my comedy goal. I want to be sponsored by Guzman Y Gomez. And I think if I keep bringing them up, which I do a lot, I talk about them on stage, if I keep bringing them up, I think they will sponsor me. So, that's the, that's the big goal. <laughs> I was already going to start saying all sorts of horrible things about me to the entire bar, you know? Who knows what else he knew about me? He could have been like, dude, you've got no money, and also, you've dropped out of uni twice. Also, you get your mum to shave your neck, that's weird. You keep challenging people to fights by saying they got to answer to a couple of fellas called Guzman and Gomez. Stop doing that. Um, probably go to um, Guzman Y Gomez. And uh, <laughs> my Airbnb is pretty good. We have a, a gym, a, a pool and a sauna. So I'm going to be doing that every day. I'm going to get shredded. Uh, it's not good for comedy to be in good shape. But I'm going to, by the end of the festival, I want to have a 12 pack and d uh, quite defined traps. I kind of want them to be up to my ears. I'm gonna do only trap, trap work at the gym. My mum gave me the sex talk and to this day, it's the worst memory I have in my narrow noodle. <laughs> she said to me, she said, you know your dad's penis, right? That's how she started. I don't know what book she got that from. The birds, the bees, and you know your dad's penis.org. Also, I shouldn't know my dad's penis, you know what I mean? And if you know your dad's penis, you're part of a weird family, you know what I mean? And then she said to me, she said, well, usually his penis will be like this. She gave me a visual aid, which I thought was nice. And then she said, and when he has sex, his penis will go from like this to like this. And to this day, that's the most horrific thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Mm, I'm pretty bad at flyering. Um... I try not to annoy people, and I feel like flowering annoys people. But uh, I, don't have, I don't know if I have any good stories. I used to fly with a, a friend of mine, uh, Simon Bosco, and uh, he, was, he had a very self-deprecating approach, or he'd hand them a flyer and say, can you put this in the bin for me? 
and uh, he'd say, you can use it as a fan. So I don't know if that, that's not a good thing to do, but it, was, it made me laugh. Because this happened to me recently. A comedian friend of mine said that one of his friends saw me do stand-up, and apparently she said she would never date me because my head is too narrow. <laughs> <laughs> Your laughter is very cruel. How dare you? It's a comedy zone. Uh, it's on at 8.30 at the Trades Hall. Um, every night except Wednesday. Um, I think that's it. What else can I say about it? It's going to be great. Uh, yep. I can't wait. I'm very excited.